just wanted to show you some finishing touches on this winter scene that we did in the advanced class. I think uh, Marilyn posted hers and Laura posted hers. I just wanted to add some, a little bit of texture and detail to the barn. And we want to make sure that we get the underneath layer, um, the under roof part a little darker. So I just took We've been mixing blues and grays. And I just took some blue and gray there and plopped it in, but I'm gonna push it. Remember the push and pull technique that you got in the beginning foundations? I'm gonna push and pull a little bit just to kind of tell it where I want it to go. And, um, and then the river I think is pretty, but it's a little bit, um, I don't know, it just gets a little lost. So the river bank above it, it's usually darker. You're casting a little bit of shadow on the edge of the riverbank. And I think that'll help not only hide the pencil line, there's a little pencil line here, not only hide that, but also, there we go. And then the tree here, I didn't have the big green tree here on this side. So I decided that this tree was gonna be a little more prominent and a little closer in than these trees in the back. So it's using a little bit of the gray and I don't wanna to add too much green because uh, it's a really, in the winter, the evergreen is a little darker, uh, but a hint of green will let you know that, oh yeah, that's an evergreen, it's a little overcast day. And um, the green is complementary color to the, to the red. So it'll just add to the painting. I really wish I had, um, actually, I'm going to do it now. So this was supposed to be a barn, but um, I wanted, I'm going to add like a door. I had added a big barn, a uh, big barn door to the original, but I just kind of wanted to show you like, don't be afraid to try different things. If your painting isn't what you like, it's just paper. I, this is postcard size, so I can mail it off to somebody. I'm adding a door. I'm going to add some windows here because I now want it to be a house. And I really want um, a fireplace. So I might have to go ahead and use the China. There's my fireplace. It's kind of on both sides. I might have to use the um, uh, what do you call it? The, um, excuse me, bleed proof white for the top of the chimney. But then again, the top of the chimney really won't necessarily have snow on it because it's going to be hot. And so there's a chimney I just added. Doesn't look like you could see it. Um, we will, let's see, add a little bit of darker just to accent one side of it. And then since I had already done the, the whole barn and the snow and everything, I now need to add a little, I want a little smoky effect, but because I, it's already, the background's already in, I really have to just take the pens, the brush. And I think you remember the lifting technique and just I'm lifting out some, some of the snow, uh, sorry, some sm smog, smoke. I'm lifting it out for that smoky effect to be coming out of the fireplace. And it is definitely flat on top. So now you can see that happens. Sometimes it'll bleed a little bit, but just take your paper towel and pick it up. And here is the, um, the river in front, but maybe I need a pathway or maybe I need some footsteps for people who came over to visit. They might have had to come down a path to walk because they're not going to walk over the river. So I'm just going to add a little path there, maybe add a little bit of the dark. We used a lot of gray and we used a lot of Payne's gray in here. And what we like, why is because we like the blue effect. And I need to add more to make sure that door is standing out. And the best thing is to wait till it's dry. And I'm sorry if this is getting boring, <laughs> talking kind of slow and sleepy voice. 
but I need to add some dark purple to this chimney. I really want the chimney to stand out more now. It's kind of blending in. So I'm adding the purple and then I'll go over it on top with some red because I want it dark. There we go. And then the same as the roof line. There we go. As it's drying, I probably should do a little, like sometimes in the winter, you do see some little sticks sticking out and maybe just to add interest over here in this bottom corner, I'll just add a few little sticks because I didn't chose not to add the big tree. And of course, it's kind of drawing your eye, the attention. Tell me where you think you're looking. Um, the attention kind of starts here, goes up the river there, up the smoke, and then you kind of want to come back to it to see like really what's going on. And the last trick I want to show you is remember that handy dandy toothbrush. Get your toothbrush, load it up, and sprinkle your snow. This is going to be a nice snowy day. Oops, nice snowy day. Now, look what happened. Too much snow on the barn, which don't worry, it's fun. You can correct it. You might say, oh no, I made a mistake. And yeah, it doesn't, I mean, yeah, it doesn't look so good, but I'm gonna let, I let it sit for just a minute. And now I'm just gonna pick it up with my brush. Just pick up that white and before it dries. I don't mind the other areas. I think it looks kind of neat and I like it because it's compliment, complimenting the top of the, the snow on top. But um, yeah, there you go. Just, just wipe it out. I really, 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 I know you've taken lessons with me. You've all been in lessons with me and I really wanna encourage you to just play and have fun with it. And remember anything can turn into, you know, any mistake can turn into something just embrace it. If you make a mistake in one area, go ahead and repeat it somewhere else. And there you go. There's our little barn. Tell me your thoughts. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you want me to do more of these little quick little videos, I will. I, I'm happy to because I want to keep you guys keep painting. Um, I don't want you to give up. They don't have to be perfect. The other thing I wanted to show is I noticed somebody said they had ripped their paper when they took off their tape. So I want to show you, just do a real quick demo. Really pull it off to the side. Well, that one had already lifted a little bit. Just pull it to the side. It might rip up your foam core board, but if you just pick it up off to the side. And another um, little, little tip that I thought was kind of cool was Roseanne had said, uh, to write on your core board where the fold goes and where your top or your fold is so that when you're painting you could you could load these boards up with um, with your postcards so that they're ready to go there it goes see I'm just lifting it up to the side if you have resist or if you have these this tape on don't leave it on for too long that's what you're hearing is the black ripping if you leave it on for too long it definitely will rip your rip your paper. Okay, so I went a little fast, but this also is the part of the postcard, the top part of the postcard, and I have it on the top, that when I first ripped it out of the book, um, it ripped from sticking. So now I ripped them all out of the book and so that they won't rip as I tear them out. You can do that too. There you go. So let me know what you think. If you like this, if you want me to do some more, if you're brave enough to try this, please do. You are welcome to copy this one. This is my own design. I've, I've been researching and studying and I have lots of pictures that I've been showing you. Um, please feel free to copy it and post it in our group so we can each, each of each other can see are you guys each other can see each other's work and it's a safe place no comments uh and less positive we don't need negative negativity in our world so there you go let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you like it